So, this is round two of the Paris Regionals, and I'm going to be going against a, an interesting take on Void Cats, let's say. He doesn't have any restricted Pokemon, so after losing round one, I, I would say it's a smoother ride through, but, you know, Void Cats can get some bad rolls against you, and yeah, let's just see how this goes. I do have a Lumber on my Thunderous, I'm pretty sure, though, so if he gets a Dark Void off, my Thunderous will wake up, which is really nice. So I can just type a voice here. It's going to go straight for the Focus Punch and Dark Void, it seems, but because I have my Lumber, oh, okay, fake out onto the Salamence, but surely I just double target the Pangoro. Oh, I taunt, so I let him Focus Punch, okay. Oh, okay, that, that also makes sense, because that shuts down the, the Dark Voids. Oh, but Mental Herb, okay. So I'm just going to take a Focus Punch, but I can live with both, because it's not going to be not very effective. It's going to be like Choice Band Iron Fist, but... Oh wow, was that a crit? That was a crit, okay, fair enough. And I didn't even get to shut down the Life Path, so... Yeah, that was an awful turn one for me, because now he can... He's got rid of my Lumberry user as well, so he can just Dark Void now. But... Oh, Assist Dark Void. Wow, but, but he's not Wide Lens, so he has a little bit more of a chance to miss his Dark Void now. But this, this is not so good. <laughs> what an awful turn one. If I'd have just Thunderbolted the Pangoro, that would have been so much better. But, there we go. Now, I probably have to eat a Sleep and a Focus Punch now. That's not so good. Yep, it's just going to be Focus Punch. Assist Dark Void. Okay, not even. Did he forget he had Mental Herb? Because I'm just going to knock out that Pangoro. Is he foul playing? Why wouldn't you Assist Dark Void there? That's really confusing. It's going to be foul play, but that's not going to knock out my ground. It's going to do a nice chunk, but... Not even half, and now his light bar goes down, because it... Yeah, that was confusing. Because if you just assist Dark Void, then you can... If you hit, you get the Focus Punch. That's really strange, but there we go. It's going to be Smeagol, because it has to be, and what's it going to be? It's going to be Conkelda. Okay, so double fighting. Another Focus Punch user. And I don't know what item the Smeagol is. It could have been Scarfed. Don't know if there was a Ditto on the team, I can't remember. Ooh, he's probably EV to live that, so there's the Dark Void. He outspeeds my Groudon because I'm min speed. Like a like a fool, I guess, because you shouldn't have mid speeds with Tailwind. But there we go. He's gonna uh, miss my Groudon so I can, can just press his blades and I hit both so I clean up. So that could have been scary on the on the first the first turn was horrible because of that mental herb. But second turn I'm very confused why there wasn't an assist dart void, because that would have just made so much sense. Because you if you hit you get the focus punch. If you don't, then I get to hit your Pangoro and stop the Focus Punch, so very, very confusing, but that was game one, and this is game two, so now that I know that there's a Mental Herb on the light part, I'm not going to taunt it, I'm just going to attack things. Oh, it's a Source Bug, oh, that's interesting. What did that do with, oh, no, I remember what it does, I think Secret Power can't be called by Assist, so you got the Serene Grace Secret Power, but now I'm not going to taunt the light part because I know it's Mental Herb, so I can just double attack here. Although it's not going to be a Focus Punch, so I should probably attack the Lipard with uh, my Thunderous rather than focus on the Source Buck. So it's going to be Fake Out again with the Salamence, because that stops the Source Buck from being knocked out. I'm just going to Taunt again. Okay, well I guess I'm going for the Double Taunt then, because I know it's a Mental Herb. I guess Thunderbolt doesn't really do that much to Lipard, it, it probably wouldn't knock out. Yeah, there's Secret Power. So, I'm pretty sure that has a 60% chance of paralyzing because of Serene Grace, and I'm pretty sure it's 30% par paralysis chance. So, yeah, I get the taunt now, so he, he couldn't have assisted. He's going to foul play, which is smart. Oh, I, yeah, I remember. He secret powered again, and he doesn't get the paralysis. And I remember he was really annoyed at this point, because he didn't get the par paralysis twice, the 60%, but you can't be annoyed when you're running Void Cats. Like, if the luck goes against you, that's what you're using, so you can't complain. Foul play shouldn't knock out my Salamence? No, it doesn't, so... I don't know what that's going to be, but it's going to be the Pangara again, and he's taunted with his light part, so I can just hyper voice and knock out both of them. And I'm probably going to substitute with my Thunderous, to be honest. Like, oh, it doesn't knock out the Pangara. That's cool. So I guess it was a roll the last match, but I should sub. I just Thunderbolt, I guess, to be safe, but theoretically that was a free sub, so I should have subbed. But apparently I shouldn't have subbed, which is good that I Thunderbolted, but now is it going to just be Conkelder in the back again? Oh, it's Togekiss. So he's shown all six of his Pokemon. He didn't even have a Mega. He didn't even go with Mega Lucario or Mega Mewtwo. Like, that's, that's confusing, but there we go. That was a nice, nice clean game. After losing round one, get yeah, a fairly easy 
game two because like it, it was not the most optimal void cats but void cats can always come back and bite you with some horrible rng but i got all the good rng apart from that crit on the first focus punch but i think that was better because then that got me switched into the groudon so there we go that was game two thanks for watching <laughs>